Hey, how's it going there, guys? Tarkish1331 back once again, bringing you, finally, the second part of the joke tournament. Well, I say finally. It's, it's been it's been almost two weeks since I recorded um, the matches, like all the matches. And sadly, I due to lack of hindsight, I gotta do this in post-commentary, because I thought I could do it all in one giant video, but then that didn't pan out, because it just took too long to select the characters. So I have So I do have a solution to that, though. I'm going to utilize the Gauntlet roster and just put whatever characters were selected on there. So that way I have all the teams in order in case the game crashes, I can easily find them again. Sure, it'll take a while to put them on the roster, but once they're on there, oh yeah, it's going to be a hell of a lot easier at that point. But I figured for now I'd just keep it all on the on the main screen pack. So, that said, yeah, we got the 24 teams, and f first match we got... Uh, oh, no, no, now before I get into that though... Selecting the teams, I will admit, I could have studied it a little bit. I will admit, I kind of rushed a little bit for picking the teams. I, I should have put a little more thought into it. So some of them, a couple of the matches were really good, but eh, honestly, eh, I could have done a better job selecting them. But it's all right. Yeah, for the next tournament, I'm definitely going to take my time a little bit and trying to figure out which match will actually really be good. I may even test them off camera as well to, to see if they're good. But at any rate, though, let's just let, let's get to this. Samurai Jack, Batman, you against Sack Claps, Jack Yuta, and Shadow Guys. Let's freaking go! Now, the way I'm doing this in post commentary is that I have all of the videos queued up on DLC, so they're just gonna play in order, pretty much. And oh my god, that's right! The, he he fucks with his intro so badly. Sack Claps just completely breaks immersion of that of that intro. Uh, it was that was something to behold, and there, there was oh my god! Speaking of sack claps, also kind of breaks another match later on, like way later on. Now, now from what we saw with Neo's team before, they did a really, really good job. So I figure, you know, it would be interesting to see if, they, if, if Neo could like bullshit his way through this. Which is why the which is the reason I chose these two teams. <laughs> Behold, I did it. Now, now bear in mind, it's it's been almost a couple weeks since I've seen these matches, so I mean a lot of them I do remember how they went. Well I well I remember the outcomes, but I kinda of forget like what happened in them. Which is the one interesting thing about doing this post commentary. I honestly wouldn't recommend doing videos in post commentary though. Doing it live is just so much better. It's a little, it's easier because you, because again, you just record, you record once and you're done. You don't have to worry about watching your video again. Which is the reason why next time I'm gonna be putting them on the Gauntlet roster so that way all the characters are there. I can actually do it live still, but it would, it would still have to be two parts though. I still couldn't do it all in one sitting. No, and also this series here, I'm. This will be the one and only series where I don't live stream just because it's a little bit easier to kind of. Because I'm afraid that if I do the stream where I pick all the characters, it'll just take me way too long to like. It'll just take me way too long to try to find time to put the characters in. Like meaning they would be the first part. And then for next thing you know, it'd probably be like three weeks later would then be the second the second part, whereas doing it this way, I can already have everything ready to go, so that way I can just upload one thing, and then the next day upload the final part of the tournament. So, here we are in the next match there. Fat Albert X, Thanos Side, Nega Peach against Kate MC Chen, and Goku Raku. I figure Goku Raku is really nasty, so putting he and Kate MC against Nega Peach should be interesting. That's really the main reason why I chose this, and this one actually did prove to be fairly interesting. Early, so I remember. I, I, I could be I could be dead wrong with that because again I haven't watched this in like 12 days. I, I recorded this shit back in the eighth. And I'm recording it, and I originally watched these on the eighth. This is now the friggin' 20th. <laughs> yeah, I must say it's like yeah, no, there's just there's too much other stuff I want to do. This is oh, it's the main it's only it's the main reason why I only stream like once a month now. Anymore. I want to try to maybe stream twice a month now, but I don't know, man. No, no guarantees. Oh, 
Yeah, like see, like look at that. They 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 almost 69 them. Reminds me of a sweet chick I knew once. Go Karaka, you 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 you, you freaking bastard! Look at you just like just jabbing him from behind. What sort of freaking maniac would do that? I mean, like my god. Like who? Like who in their right mind would do that? Dare I ask? <laughs> Oh man, but I, I can't believe all the crazy cheap stuff that happened in the in the preliminary round. Like, oh my word! I, mean, I was just kind of like just kind of came back into my head because I actually I re I probably should have watched that leading up to this, but I'm like, eh, eh, I didn't. I'm just going off of like very very kind of almost like a fragmented memory of what happened. And he ate his gum twice. Boring. Hey, hey, hey. It's Judgment Day. D did he even say that at all? Like, wait, did, did he actually say that in the show at all? Or am I just like... Or am I just going... Or I, I don't know. That just seems like a very random thing to say. Like, like, well, like what the hell are you? Like the freaking Terminator? If you, if you say saying that shit? Oh, yeah, that's right. I... Yeah, I, I, I gotta, I, I, I got ahead of myself there. Let me pause. Yeah, Toriel. Yeah, I forgot about Toriel. Cool spot and Ammonite, which is that team just freaking destroyed the people. I, I thought they were gonna lose their match originally, like the one that you know caused them to be in the thing, but it just didn't happen. But A Rock charges out an evil Homer. Yeah, they, that that's probably that was actually one of my favorite teams because they're powerful, but compared to everyone else. They're actually kind of more in, like, the upper middle tier. They're not even, like, top tier, really, compared to some of the cheaper teams. Like, oh, cough, cough, final freaking Supreme Vegito. Freaking asshole. Yeah, they, they forget that yeah, they freaking mutilated them that round. You are the worst human being Okay, try again if you guys dare. Yeah, definitely 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 Oh my god, I forgot oh man, they did just oh my god, A Rock. A Rock and Charizard together are just like like these three are just so good. I actually really like watching these three. I'd say maybe, I'd say maybe A Rock makes this team just a hair too. Not even just a hair. This makes a team considerably more powerful because of that. I still, I still like watching him wreck shit though. I'm not gonna lie, I do. See, see the hell the next match. Is. Yeah, Dracula. Oh yeah, Dracula's team. I had them go up against Mr. Fahrenheit because I, I was. See, this was. <laughs> Well, let me let me pause for a second. Um, this is one of those matches I was so hoping went a different way than it did, but alas, no. Ugh. Just, just, just watch. I know, I know, I, I know. I already freaking spoiled it. goddammit. it! Did not mean to? That we. I really, I really should have had that. I, I don't know. I was debating on having Final Supreme's team go up against this, but I'm like, nah, nah, because I, I wanted it. Uh, I was. I forgot every time he dies, he goes. Da -da 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 also, funny thing about Mr. Fahrenheit is that 
when when Jum when Mr. Jum was over at my house, I think it was like last week or so. Actually, I think it might have been more like a week and a half ago. But like, we tried doing a four v four match of just all Mr. Fahrenheit, and oh my god! <laughs> oh man, it was Get ready for a three two one. <laughs> oh my god. Like, like, he was kind of useless. In this. I don't know. I was so hoping that, like, be because of the. Just because being. being Bergschwart and all that, that I was hoping that maybe. It was kind of like quirky, kind of crazy bullshit would cut through Dracula, but it did not. It, it, ugh. See, it's like another match. I almost, I almost should test these. Like, I almost should test a lot of these off camera. Because that way I kind of know what I'm up against. But, I mean, sadly it'll mean, by doing that though. Oh yeah, that also we get Niall, Adele, and Shockwave. Niall, Adele, and Shockwave, but that was a fun team to watch. You got E Honda Garados and uh, also not a bad one. But you got, um. But yeah, no, that would just take too long. Or, or, well, no, not that it would take too long. Sorry. Like, meaning, when it comes to the joke tournaments, this, see, that's the reason why I'm not going to be doing these as often because I'm, I'm going to try to put a little more care into selecting the teams because I don't want to have it just be like, you know, like a flip of a coin or like, or like a roll of a dice. Because. I have not too many teams would get effed over badly if that was the case. Cause, you know, there's too many times if ever I do like a dice roll to like... And also, holy shit, what a fucking attack by Nile. And I think that slides out for everyone. Yeah, that was, that was a close match. Huh. I gotta make sure the other Transformers are even like, even on there, cause... I'm not too sure on that one. Oh man, boy, that combo for, for friggin' Gyarados using Outrage, or Thrash rather, and then he on him just like, like just friggin' slamming him from the air. See, like, 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 see, like, both these teams are pretty good, actually. Like, the, the, this is this is one of the better matches that I picked. Like, yeah, there were definitely a couple where, like, okay, I definitely made a good pick. I definitely, I definitely knew, or I, I definitely had, like, good foresight to choose the way I did. But then there were some that, like, I'm like, what on, what on earth was I thinking? <laughs> Which, I mean, you know, that kind of adds to the, to the, to, like, the value of, like, the whole joke name anyway. So even if that does happen, I'm not as, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not as sore about it. Because there are just some times where just RNG could be totally against me. I can't read. Yeah, no, there you go. But yeah, yeah, freaking yeah. Not Niall's team ended up winning that one. Which, that one I was expecting. For like a two-rounder, though, that was like one of the better two-round fights, I think. I mean, again, I, I honestly forgot how a lot of this went. I mean, I, I, could, I could be wrong. Oh, yeah, Fire Guy Ride, Shin Saito, Sun Gohan, Hisiri, and Tiki. Oh, boy. That team on the left. Hi. Get ready this was another sadly this, honestly I should have probably had this team go up against Charizard's team I, I forgot I already forgot if I did later on but like Yeah, I figured he Siri would have would have had some more bullshit up her sleeve on this one, but then again, this is freaking Figar we're talking about here. The the version of Figar, mind you, that is on Mr. Jum's cheap roster. So I should tell you something right there. Yeah, the bullshit is a plenty with the, with this version of Figar. This isn't even the original Figar. This was the first version after the original. But holy crap, man, he is, he is insanely powerful. I think I 
lights out. Yep, lights out. Alright, just hearing Figar's music with this cussing just does not go well at all. It, it, it just complete, it completely uh, clashes with it. Well, which, it. which I find kind of funny. That happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freaking DLC. Freaking. Yeah, that's right. This is Clement. Yeah, and here is probably one of the cheapest teams I have ever seen. And I decided to put him up against Haster early. Yeah, that was kind of a bad move as well. Because I was hoping Haster would kind of pull out some shit, but I mean, honestly, I don't know. Talk about, talk about kind of blow, kind of talk about kind of blowing your load early. Like, holy shit! Yeah, like I, I should have had these two face off against each other. Like, see, that see, that's when the problem happens because I could, I could, I could have, I could have saved this match for later, but then at the same time, that probably would have also meant sacrificing a not as cheap team to this team, and I didn't really want that either. See that? See that? That's some shit can get complicated with this. But yeah, definitely next tournament though, I'm gonna be doing, which I'll mention this at the end of the video, but yeah, I'm doing 64 team. I think 64 is the max I'll ever do in uh, one time. was like more on the other side of the screen he probably would have been able to teleport around him and save his ass but eh, it didn't happen yeah oh god i i almost tried to hit the a the freaking key for my a button thinking that this is like like the game's actually running god damn it oh yeah. opa opa show kamui goat Mega Man x toro and final oh boy which which i later did find out this is the version of final that's the ai patched version so i yeah yeah this team was injured. That team was actually both teams were injured. I forgot. I think this might have been one of the better matches as well that I picked. Yeah, most of the better ones sadly were in like the beginning. The, I feel as I think some of the later ones I picked were kind of. Uh, God. I mean, it, it definitely like it definitely emphasized and exemplified like the joke name of the ter of the of you know the, this series. It, it really did. It definitely emphasized it. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh man, don't 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 let final get the best of you. Yeah, you know, if it weren't for Opa Opa doing that, Final probably could have pulled that out of his ass. Yeah, so yeah, th this match ended up being... Yeah, this this was definitely one of the... I think this might have been probably... You could probably argue this might have been the best match of the whole, the whole like, second, second um, half right here. X is down, Toro's is Toro's just about out of it. Yeah, it's literally fucking three on one right now. That's it, yeah. And the team that I thought was gonna continue actually didn't. Yeah, Opa Opa show Kamui and go, man. Holy, holy criminy. Twin B ain't my bro. Oh boy, here we go. Primus, Shen, and Manny. Oh god. And I decided to put him against Evil Donald because I remembered. Oh yeah, he goes in pure for Manny. 
Yeah, no. Okay. Let me get right off the bat as to why I kind of that that not even that I fucked up, but the the game the game did something very interesting with this because this was three versus three, and Manny was in the third slot. I don't think it would have mattered if he was in the second slot, but because he was in the third slot, Manny has an anti-cheat mode against Primus, and yet no matter what, it would always activate in any of the matches he was in. I thought at first because maybe Evil Donald, because he was impure, but no, he did that in every match that he was in. So apparently, whenever Manny and Primus are on kind of opposite ends there in a 3v3 or probably 4v4 would happen as well, his anti-cheat mode activates for Primus, despite the fact that he's on the same team as him. Now, now the way to counteract that is that if, if you just skip, you, you can skip that for some reason. It is, it is skippable. Which, which, I, which, which I just demonstrated right there. Like, it's weird how that happened. Yeah, some of the matches kind of like prematurely because of that fact. Yeah, again, uh, more more things that really kind of say that, yeah, this tournament was a goddamn joke. <laughs> again, I can't emphasize that enough. And, uh, and, and, I, and I do can't believe that's the take place in the series. <laughs> There's the woo. <laughs> I was waiting for that. I knew, I, I knew, I knew what was gonna happen. <laughs> the woo. Hey, <laughs> you, you little shit stain, just laughing at all just all that blood around you. Yeah, this is. I think this is kind of where things start to say, start to kind of take a turn for the jokey. Yeah, th this team is kind of... I wasn't a fan of this team at all, Varnage's team. I could have... Ugh, I was not a fan of that team at all. But, and then again, because I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll final Supreme Vegito them. Again, again, that's the whole thing of me selecting these teams. I, I have that power. I, I, I can fuck teams over if I want to. And in this case, I wanted to. I had no desire to see this team go on. I really didn't. So I'm like, eh, fuck them. I know, that, that's, that sounds incredibly crooked. And sleazy, but... Eh. Yeah, it's not like it's not that there's real money going around for this thing, so it's like, yeah, whatever. It's a, it, 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 it's not like an actual boxing like fights are fixed and shit. Be just, just because of large fucking threats. Like that actually is that actually is crooked and sleazy, but it happens all the fucking time, so you know nobody no, no, nobody says anything about it. I mean, at the end of the day, all, all the all, all the all the at the end of the day, all, all, all those are, you know it's a fucking business. Yeah, go for a Mugen record and go fuck yourself. That's what I say to that shit. And then just, whoa, whoa. It's like, yeah, yeah, Earl, just piss off. <laughs> and this team, I was disappointed in. Tatsumaki Tiki Vertigo against Guts, Angie, and Carnage. Just, 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 just wait and see. The reason I chose this, and again, this was a bit of a bit of bit of a hindsight 2020 sort of thing again. I Katsumaki always has a lot of promise, and especially with Vertigo. And all that. But look at this. Katsumaki was the first to die. The most powerful character, and she was the first to go. Apparently, it was also a win by throw. Yeah, I was... Oh, God. Now, look at this. Now, 
Now, see, that performance was what I was hoping they would have done in round one, and they possibly could have taken a W off of that. That was why I chose them, but they just got hammered in round one. So I was... That's one of those ones I, I bet if I kind of maybe played around with that a little more, I could have gotten a good match maybe, but at that point, it, it, it would just make the series take way too longer to release. I'd much rather just do the battles in one take as opposed to trying to find the best takes. I mean, as cool as that would be and all that, there's, yeah, there's no way. I mean, again, again, because, I mean, and all of that, I, I'd have to edit clips together in that one case, and also, hi, I bet you can yeah. This team, I actually really like Repto Snake Eyes and Mato too. Kind of spammy and all that, but compared to all the other shit in this one, it's actually kind of one of the more balanced teams, honestly. And they actually did surprisingly good against them, too. I was expecting them to get, like, hammered pretty badly, but that actually wasn't the case. Yeah, like, they ended up taking round one. I'm wondering, I think, I wonder if this might have been the last, this, I wonder if this might have been the last round three I had. I could be wrong. I thought there was maybe one or two more round threes. Oh my god, that intro was so weird. Like, what the hell? Something happened with it. Was this like an eye that just like pulled, pulled, like, pulled, like, can't, like, can't afford bass? Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, he, he pulled the can of whoop ass. Yep, he pulled the can of whoop ass. Ah! Yeah, Snake Eyes almost- they almost 2 0 them. They almost 2 0 them. Just remember that shit. Yeah, no, maybe- yeah, maybe- maybe this is- maybe this is kind of like- I- maybe this is kind of my kind of favorite match here. I mean, this, is, this is one of my favorite matches of the, the like, kind of second half. That's the one thing with the jump tournaments, too. Probably the best matches are going to be in the beginning when they're when they're completely randomized and you don't know what's, and you don't know what the teams are. Again, I'm gonna try gonna try to put a little more carry team selecting for the next one. Yeah, this is, yeah, they, they they just fucking unload on them now. Yeah, look, look at all the friggin' assist trophies, he's like just fucking spamming them. <laughs> fucking two robotics, what the hell? That's it. Aw, oh, it all it all came down to just them as well. No, there was fucking three robotics, I just noticed that. There's fucking three of them. Oh my god. Yeah. So yeah, they honestly they they should they probably should have lost that one. But yeah. So now we're now we're in now we're into the second kind of part of that round because as you notice, so now we're in kind of like the second leg of the se uh, of like the main part of the tournament. Because now I decided to pin guts against Nega Peach's team again. Probably in hindsight, maybe not the best choice, but I figured I I figured guts with the way he combos and shit. That that just just maybe just maybe. I just remember from Jum's roster, he has freaking um that freaking that Ronald uh, that Donald McDonald um Undertale Ruins mix just called Ruins. <laughs> Uh, very clever. Yeah, 
Yeah, oh god. Yeah, freaking two of those things plus the lightning. Freaking hell, man. Oh wait. Oh no, there's number two. And number three. Oh god. And despite getting tri triple tornado, they still won that round. So I forgot, yeah, so this is, this is actually, yeah, this is an, yeah, another round three. So see, this, this one actually was a good pick in that sense, at least. Like, because I figured it would be close. I mean, again, Nega Peach would have just had to been on, on, on like, a freaking tear for them to get a 2-0 on this fight. And even, likewise, Guts, same. Because, I mean, Guts probably could have used the 2-0 as well, but, oh, God, yeah. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're in dire straits now. That's it. Yeah. I was a little saddened by that one. I was hoping Nega PJ get knocked out. Oh yeah. And bow all night but you are destined. You've been talking mighty big. And bow all night. You've been <laughs> You've been talking about a big and bowled all night. I'm like I just hit freaking A again thinking that that, that was the end of the <laughs> Yeah, next one. Now we get set Oh god. This fucking match. Okay. My reasoning for choosing these two teams is because, arguably, these are the most kind of random teams of the entire thing. So, I'm like, you know, I gotta pin these two against each other. Yeah, just watch. Oh my god. This, this freaking, this freaking match. Oh my lord. He did that on Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay. Yeah, you know Sackcloth kind of fucks around with the because of the jumping. Yeah, this kind of fucks up the intro in a hilarious way. You know, now notice how before he would be walking back. Notice how that's not happening now. Yeah, his intro got screwed up so badly that it's technically over, but not. And I decided to keep this in because I'm like, you know what? This, is, this was so funny to see that I'm just gonna let this match just be a black screen with grass in the foreground because fuck it. Yep. Don't anybody move. I dropped my contact lens. Don't don't anybody move. Dream! Don't anybody, don't anybody move! I did it! Dream! Oh, yeah. Come and get me! <laughs> yeah, I kinda- I just- I just let that slide. That was- that was just too funny. But here we go, next match. Yeah, this one is an interesting one. A-Rock, Charizard, Evil Homer, Fygar, Riot, and Shin Saito. Let's fucking go. I forgot if this is one of the ones I regretted picking. I, I, I honestly. Yeah, and also, also after this match, we got we. I, I just saw in the thing we got eight more to go.
Yeah, they, they, yeah, they, I forgot, yeah, they, yeah, they beat him pretty handily in that round. I am Evil Homer. Get ready to keep Yeah, on this one, I actually had a feeling that this is now this is one of the ones where I was hoping Fygar would have been would have been a little more aggressive, but just like just just that combination of just charge like just these I can't even just say any of these two. Just these three in particular are just so aggressive. Like it, it, the thing that sucked about it, I almost wanted these three to be the winner, but it just with all the other cheap teams out there, especially like King Adora's and uh, Manny's team, it's just it, it was just freaking impossible. All right, but here we go. Here we go. Opa Opa's team. The hell is it? Um, yeah, Opa Opa Shokumu and Go now, and then Niall Asadel and Shockwave again. These three I would have also liked to see go on a little longer as well, and likewise even Opa Opa's team. E each each of those two teams, and then plus the one that we just saw. Yeah, R really really solid teams. <laughs> Again, I think the next tournament as well. I might actually have it be a team where I think I'll have the I think I'll have the scenario where like in, in order to qualify the tournament you have to lose your match, but in order to stay in the tournament you have to win. Like I I, I, I might try out that scenario to see if I can kind of maybe weed out some of the cheaper teams. <laughs> Oh my god, I forgot. Yeah, that was a really, really good first round, right? There. That was a very close first round. Yeah, because I think, yeah, again, Goat was almost gone, too. So it was almost basically just like one, it was almost one on one. I want to say this might be wrong. Oh, I could be wrong. Nah, probably not. Like, once Oba Oba starts going good, yeah, no, yeah, no, it's not bad. Yeah, no. One of those ones. I was hope I was hoping Niall and Esadel could have could have done something a little more in this fight, but it just ah, it, it was it was impossible. Or not even impossible. It, it just didn't happen. I mean. Yeah, this match kind of this match sort of overstays its welcome a little bit. The freaking shock. <laughs> Yep, not surprised. Yep, here we go. Dra now for Dragula's team. I figured this was kind of another FU match because I'm not really a fan of Dragon's Den. Like, yeah, you know, I'm, I, I feel like King Adoring you. Like, seriously. Yeah, and not surprised at that. I find it sad that Clippet is the last one left. Dracula, freaking Dracula died before Clippet and, and, and Donald FJ. That is, that is why. <laughs> like, how? <laughs> like, freaking how, man. I forgot about that. He did, he, he did that. Yeah, now we're getting to the part of the tournament where these matches are gonna, like, be incredibly short. There you have it.
Yeah. I think there's only, like, one match left that's, like, somewhat lengthy. And that's coming up. Not this match, but the next match. Here we go. Pr yeah, Primus and Manny, Final Supreme Vegeta. Let's go. Now, again, because of the whole Primus glitch that I told you about. Now, I think, I, to be fair, I think he's doing this because of Final Supreme. So, again, yeah, it's a little tougher to make the argument in this match. And then, likewise, with the Imperial Battle match. But... That's just the argument become like, pretty obvious. Yeah, that's right. The freaking um. No, no. Oh wait a minute. Yeah, mainly, uh, I just see what's one thing I hate about these cheap character matches. Sometimes they just get right to the fucking point, and then other times they play with their food. This is the case where he's playing with his freaking food. It drives me nuts sometimes. Kind of one, kind of one reason I'm not really a big fan of cheap character matches because, like, I hate it when they just beat around the bush like that. It's like they get, just get, get to the fucking point. I mean, of course, I mean, freaking Norris is guilty of this shit too. Like, like, no, no, like enough of this freaking meandering. Because again, so again, you have the ability to one hit KO, just fucking one hit KO you. Oh god. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, no, no, and, uh, oh, there you go. You see, you could have done that like freaking like 20 seconds ago. Just saying, man. He's like, yeah, I've had, it's like, yeah, I've had enough of you. Uh, it's like one of those things. It's just, oh god. It's just annoying when AIs do that. I mean, again, there's, you know. You know, fuck all I can do about it, but still, you know, I'm just, you know, pointing it out. Come on, if you think you can take me. It's weird because that, that glitch as well, that only happens in the first round. Once the second round and beyond happens, it, it never happens again. Oh, yeah, I think it yeah, must be the Kugu from the Kugu, the ones that the wings. There you go, man. Now, the reason I did that, that was a bit of a reference, kind of, to the old, um, to one of my old, old marathons where I actually had Vandy and Final Supreme Vegito on a versus screen. Oh, my God, I can't believe I got that shit randomly. That, that was insane. And... Bring you, bring you back to Nagical. I always just said Nagical Manaya. What the hell is okay? This is what I get for recording this at like midnight right now. I'm actually, I'm actually kind of glad that this round isn't really all, or this part of the tournament really wasn't all that long. I mean, we're only like how oh, fucking long? Yeah, we're only we're only about like 44 minutes into this shit, so it's like we're really not on that. Like for for one of my videos, we're really not that deep. We're really not. This isn't really all that long considering the stuff I've done before. Like, this tournament, I think, overall, really, you'll only end up equaling up just about two hours, and that's it. Hey, well, I, I'll actually... No, it'll be a little over two hours. Actually, I'll probably be more, probably more two hours, 15 minutes. Sure. I had no choice. I need to know the truth. Fortunately, he successful for the central up. Although to be fair, that was pretty freaking funny that that happened. Like, 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 like that second part where he like he he runs back to the right. That just never happened at all. Sackcloth just completely just skipped it. But yet for some reason, but but the, the screen. I have a feeling I could have skipped it, but I will. I didn't even bother trying. Really, really, I'm gonna try now. Again, 
Just stepping away from the ship for a few weeks, will do Yeah, not surprised. I do love that he hops and hops on another Shiki and just rides him like a motorcycle. Like, why? Oh, man. Well, actually, no, I shouldn't even ask why. Like, why not at this point? <laughs> oh, boy, here we go. This match. This match was... I, you know what? This is another match. I probably should have had A-Rock's team go up against uh, Magical and Anaya's team. Actually, I forgot. Did I do that? No, I, that's right, I didn't because because of the... Yeah, that's right. I could have had it done that way. But sadly, sadly, that just that didn't happen. So that was another kind of regret on my part. There we go. All right, let's see what we got. I actually forgot how this went. Well, I mean, I, again, I remember the outcome pretty much, but I just forgot what happened in it. Another reason I'm probably better off just doing doing both of these parts live because I think again the the raw kind of like the genuine reaction to things happening like, you know in real time. It, it it definitely it makes the recording experience a little bit a little bit. I'm sure, with the post commentary, I can give you a little more kind of analysis and kind of like my thoughts on what, ha on what happened. But, eh, I, I I prefer the other method overall. I really do. But again, this is this, is, this is, the, the, doing it this way. This is very much a hindsight is 2020 sort of thing. Like, look at how close that was. Oh my god. I'm not sure of her health, but I know. Um, yeah, Fat Albert almost almost uh, bit the dust. Oh my god, he... Yeah, and you know what, I think Evil Homer, um, uh, I think he... Yeah, he, he almost one-shot it, or he, well, no, 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 one-shot it, but he took off a good shot of that. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that that could have been a double KO. That was very close to being a double KO, and and also no that A Rock, A Rock should have had that as well. That was uh, I was a little upset at that one. And yep, here it is, the match that and Mario T. Take a good look at this match because holy shit. Yeah, this is the I hate to say this is a I'm so sorry Mario T. <laughs> you freaking King Ghidorah, God Vega, Prime Shen Manny. Again, I think on this one. Again, I think the fact that Manny thought he was against Primus kind of kind of messed up this match. So again, this is another. Ugh, it could have went. I was hoping it went a little better, but whatever. It is what it is. Let's go. Like, see, like they died like immediately. That was kind of that. See, that was that was bullshit. <laughs> Like I think on that one I, I should have done a shift F4 and then maybe and then maybe just skip it then, but again, I wasn't thinking of it at the time. I, I was a little more in a in, in a rush to get this out. But of course that of course that didn't really freaking happen either. So then that would fuck me, I guess. And if Manny stepped a little more to his left, he would have died. So this actually, this could have been a round three, but it, it didn't. It didn't pan out that way. Yeah, that was that was just a very. I was expecting that one to be very epic. That was incredibly disappointing. And yeah, Mario T. I I am sorry deeply on that one. And yeah, on this one, I feel as if I again I should have had Tails' team go up against. Um, 
freaking uh, what was the regret I had? Yeah, I should have had freaking Evil Homer's team go up against um, um Magical Denia's team, but of course I again again I again I, I wasn't thinking. Yeah, I mean, finally, Nanaya's team kind of got their kind of got their comeuppance because they really should have lost like a few matches ago. Yeah, I think it was um fucking uh, what was it? it? Yeah, it was um Snake Eye. They really should have lost against Snake Eye's team. Although honestly, I'd rather. I honestly am kind of glad this team got defeated by Ninja Peach as opposed to Snake Eye's team because I don't know that that would have just been a, a much, much, much worse kick in the teeth. There you go. Yep. There you go. I believe is this the last match? Yeah, it is. Yeah, here we go, guys. Final match. Final match right here. Holy sheesh. Can't believe it. Now, see on that one how I skipped? That's what I should have did on the freaking King of Dora match. But again, wasn't thinking. Yeah, but that match, especially with the freaking evil homeworm, that was proof right there that I think that Primus is messing up with Manny. That was all you had. And there you have it, guys. A rather very, very unceremonious end of this tournament. Just very, very abrupt, kind of just like... Just a very, like, abrupt, sudden, quick... Just like... No, really, no, no epic like, finale at all, just very, very anticlimactic. I was really not a fan of kind of, like, the latter, like, the latter three quarters of this tournament. Really, a lot of it was pretty decent. It was just, the ending just, the ending kind of just sucked for me, to be honest. It really did, but, at any rate, at any rate, though, that's, that's gonna be about it for this. I think the next one, I'll definitely have more teams. I'm going from 24 to 64 teams, just because, I don't know, I want to make it big. Sure, it means it'll be, it'll take a little longer to get out, but it'll also make it that much more epic, so... That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I think the next project that I'll be doing, um, because again, I think with these, I don't know, I may try to live stream these, but I don't know, I gotta have a more concrete schedule if I ever do, but for now, I'm gonna keep it just, like, old school, kind of, like, regular, non-live type of content. And definitely on the next one, I'm gonna actually use the Gauntlet roster to have all of the teams just there, that way, in case the game crashes or whatever, even in general, I can just select them a lot easier, because I'm because I have a little notepad document where I have all the teams written down so I know who to select but at any rate I think the next one I'll do I'll I'm gonna be doing a stream fairly soon again I, I want to try to pick a day where I can just stream like for most of the day actually and I might actually do a guy guess marathon again because I did say I wanted to do a comedy guy guess marathon so could be that might just be a regular marathon we we will see but that said that'll, that'll, that'll about do it for me I gotta I gotta get some rest Till next time, guys, I will see you all later.